Hey everyone, I'm in Aliens Dark Descent and I want to show you how to change difficulty. The bad news is if you've got a game going on at the minute, you cannot change the difficulty of that gameplay, so you are stuck. So if you're really struggling in it, you've got to sort of sort yourself out, Marines. You've got to regroup, rethink and keep going. If you need help with that, have a little look at the tutorials in the playlist that I put at the end of this video. However, if you are willing to start a new game, this is where you can change difficulty. So on the root menu here, go to New Game. Uh, choose a save slot. Be careful not to overwrite one if you're already playing one. Um, but you can see my difficulty on that one is medium. Um, so let's use number three as the uh, slot here. So medium, you can see everything is average Joe. So we've got um, health, gauge, etc. I'm just going to move my thing down to the bottom right. So you can see these difficulty things and we'll go through them and talk about what each thing does. So if we first of all select story, so I move to the left, just press A. This sets everything to easy uh, and permissive on the save system. So you can see the enemy health points, enemy health is low, enemy detection time is slow, aggressiveness gain is slow, campaign death clock is permissive. A lot of auto saves are available for loading, so it's really going to help you out going through the game. Um, if we move back to medium, which is the one that goes on default, you can see everything is average. Um, the campaign death clock is somewhat challenging and there's a lot of auto saves available for loading. Move up to hard, high health, high enemy, uh, sorry, fast enemy detection rate, aggressiveness gain is fast, campaign death clock is restrictive, a lot of auto saves still available. You've then got the worst one, are you ready? Nightmare, very high enemy health, very fast enemy detection, aggressiveness gain, very fast, campaign death clock, very restrictive, and a lot of what it says available. Uh, if you're feeling crazy or you want to do a mix up, you can go to custom and custom will enable you to set any of these however you want them. Uh, one of the things you may be interested in is the save system. If you really want to make it really hard, this would be the toughest. No one can hear you scream. So you can see only two auto saves are available and will be replaced regularly. One during the base management of the Otago and one during the deployment of each rest. There you go, my friends. That's it. That's how you change difficulty. So once we were happy with that, if I just go uh, put my camera back up here, you can see launch R B would start the new campaign and we would be off. If that was useful to you, give us a thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need help with the rest of the game, have a little look at the playlist that I'll put at the end of here. This is a very hard, challenging game. I'm finding medium is still very tough, so I suggest you go on that, as does the game recommendations at the start. So find your footing with that. Um, it is challenging, and if you find that too hard, don't be afraid to restart with a lower difficulty. But it does get easier as you manage to power up your squad. Uh, so stick with it. Thanks for watching.